Hi everybody, in this video I'm starting a new series where I go to places that I see on stock photos, etc. You know, historic places, touristic places, and try to recreate those stock photos for myself. And this time I'm going to go somewhere near Rotterdam. So I'll show you this picture. When you go to Lonely Planet for Rotterdam, you sometimes see this very Dutch and all there's a windmill there are boats um, there are like old looking buildings etc and i was curious where this place was because i've been here in rotterdam for for a couple of months now and the thing is most of the places are really modern and new because rotterdam was bombed during the second world war i want to take another picture as well this is a picture of a couple of very nice and old looking buildings at the end of the harbor. In this video, I will show you our journey to these places and compare the photos that I took to these stock photos. So see it until the end to learn more about this place. It wasn't very difficult to find where this place is, even though the on Lonely Planet it didn't specify the location of this picture. It is called Delft's Haven. From Erasmus Bridge, you go straight to east, uh, and about 30 to 40 minutes later, you arrive at Delft's Haven. So I took a couple of videos while I was on my way to this place so please watch us so on your way to Dells Haven you see a couple of important architectural landmarks like Euromast and also this is the park literally in well head park in Dutch this is the park in Rotterdam so biggest park in Rotterdam so yeah we still have I think 15 minutes to go now we are in Dells Haven it's like a see over there we are going this way you know like there were some marks saying that historic Dells Haven is that way but my map says otherwise so we are going the opposite way of the uh, road sign basically we almost made it do you see this windmill that's basically the landmark that I was looking for windmill and there's a canal it's like very Dutch. It's a very Dutch scenery. But we'll get even closer. It is actually very pretty. Look at this. I hope I don't walk because it is kind of... Are actually at the place you see this is this is pretty cool actually like you see you have the canal you have the boats and you have also the windmill it's like very Dutch this is like completely Dutch scenery So actually it looks quite very much like like the pictures So we came, we saw, I think this is a place, uh, I tried to take a couple of pictures, I don't know if it's the 
same, but pretty close, pretty close. I stood exactly on that this bridge that this photo was taken, but I got a completely different <laughs> shot. And another photo that I was trying to take is the couple of buildings that are there in this location at the end of the canal basically or like the harbor is basically this couple of historic buildings and here how my photo compares to the stuck photo as you will realize there are a couple of major differences between these photos the first thing is that the colors are just so different in the stock photo it's not even i don't know if i could say they are the same colors the thing is in the stock photo the colors are much much lighter i don't think that's that's because of the light um clearly in reality these buildings are dark brownish which makes sense but on the stock photo yeah it, it it is like yellowish or something like that i'll check this place out in the summer as well but i don't think i don't think this this is basically just a, a, the job of photoshop i think and the second thing well big thing that catches my eye is that in front of the buildings there are like small islands in my photo there are two of those but in the stack photo there is only one which is a bit i think strange because in my photo both of the islands look about the same kind of like age and situation so i i will be surprised if back in the time there were only one island and not the other one but yeah basically too much well i don't know like the saturation and color editing might have been a bit overdone because when you go there well you see i mean the scene is scenery is still very nice but there's a huge difference between the stack photo that like tourist tourism websites use versus the actual photo the actual place but anyway this was my experience thanks for watching and i hope to continue these series it's just it's just quite a lot of fun see you next time hopefully